Okay, it's day four. Uh, only 96 to go now. <laughs> we keep going with these uh, inspirational videos. One a day for 100 days. Andrew Paul Smith um, speaking to you. And I'm hoping that you're getting with um, the the joy that and the inspirational um, stuff that comes out of my heart. And uh, this is just me... Uh, in the raw, in in the flesh, this is this is who I am. I just love to inspire people. So today, um, I want to talk about um, abdication. There's a big word. Oof. Don't mention it to the Queen. Shh. She doesn't like that that word, the A word. But we all do it. We all abdicate. We all think that we are powerless. When in actual fact, what we're doing is we we're not powerless. We've given away the power that we've got. Um, I've been through a, a little bit of a, what's the word, a quandary. There's a good word for it. I've been through a quandary recently in that I, I was caught between a, a rock and a hard place. Um, I didn't want to hurt someone, uh, but I was going to end up, if, if I didn't do what I knew was right in my heart, I was going to end up hurting myself. And... At the end of the day, we've got to decide that even though our heart is full of love, that we've got to do what is best for us. And sometimes that means that other people are going to have to deal with some grief that is in effect caused by your actions, even though when you think about it, they are they have the decide they have to decide whether they are able to respond responsible. Uh, able to respond for uh, for what's happened in a positive or negative way, and that works for us too. It doesn't matter what happens to us. It's what we do with what happens to us that makes us into the people that we are uh, and uh, into the... Uh, that creates the life that we um, that we then live from that moment on, and some magic happened. Oh, it was wonderful! It was really amazing. I, 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 when when you follow your heart, and when you're being pure and being open and being honest and being truthful with people, when you're not trying to um, stitch them up, when you're not trying to um, uh, twist things to your own way, when, when your heart is genuine uh, in, in its desire to embrace the world, to love the world, I think that whatever it is that you really want will come about. Now, it might not happen um, immediately, which it has done on this occasion, uh, but I believe that um, there's darkness and light. And there's a verse in, I think it's John chapter 1, that it says that the light shines out in the darkness. This is in the Gospel of John, in chapter 1 of the Gospel of John, um, in the Bible. It, it says the light shines out in the darkness, and the darkness hasn't snuffed it out, is one um, expression, one translation, or it hasn't understood it. The darkness doesn't understand the light. When you're working, I'm getting the goosebumps again, it must be good, <laughs> what I'm coming out with. Uh, that, that's my indication. When I feel uh, shivers up my spine, um, goosebumps on my goosebumps, then I know that this is something that is coming through me uh, rather than from me. Um, so, yeah, d don't stop yourself. Don't stop the, the flow, Andrew. <laughs> when, when, uh, when, when, when you... Real, when the dark, when you realise that the darkness doesn't understand what's going off, then um, there is a way forward for you in your life because what you want, deep down inside your heart, it's actually, I believe, something of a of a spiritual or a soul nature. It, it's it's like your your part. You know, you've been given a script. Uh, of, of the perfect you, the way that you should be um, in this life, uh, and it's full of light, and it's full of love, and it's full of uh, joy, and contentment, and happiness, all those things uh, are supposed to be your experience, the experience of everybody uh, in the world, unfortunately that doesn't happen, because there is darkness there, and even though when you look in the night sky, there's so much darkness, you can't put out, you can't snuff out that light, the light's still there, whether it's the light of the moon or the light of the stars, it's there, uh, and so when when you're working from your heart, this is just my belief, 
you know, you can either accept it or reject it. You can test it even better. You can test it for yourself. Is what this Andrew Paul Smith character saying to you, is it, is it actually true or not? Find out for yourself. Trust what I'm saying. Give it a whirl. You've given all the other stuff a whirl. You, you've told yourself how rubbish you are, how unworthy you are, how unlovable you are. That didn't work. Now it's time to think about what could you do instead? Maybe you could believe instead that you've been given a, a, a life, uh, a soul that, that is going to uh, be a blessing to other people. It's going to be a blessing to yourself uh, as well, of course. Uh, and as you fulfill your destiny to be a person who shows love and light and, and joy and contentment and happiness, as you're a person who do, who's doing that, then everything else will fall into place. And there is a scripture that I'm thinking of. It's Matthew 6, verse 33 from the Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be yours as well. And you go, you really mean that, Jesus? Yeah, because what you're doing is you're putting yourself in, 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 the, in the flow of the, the God force, the life force, the universal force, which is a positive force. And as you embrace all the things that happen to you uh, in your life as being something which is going to bless you, not curse you, uh, then what will happen is magic. And that's what happened to me, because my heart was so full uh, of, of, of not wanting to hurt people. But in the end, I had to make a decision. I had to show responsibility and go down a certain path. But when I did, something magical happened. Now, without going into any detail here, I'm telling you, the, the joy that I'm feeling right now is immense, and it can happen to you. You can live your life that way too. So the challenge is don't today, uh, is don't abdicate. The inspiration is that there, there is a, a life force of love and light at work in you and me and everybody else. And when we, when, when we go with the flow, when we do what we know is right in our hearts, then the blessings and the magic start falling in. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Andrew Paul Smith at www.apsmithonline.com. Come and have a look at my website. Uh, be blessed. Have an inspirational day. Love and light to you. Namaste. God bless you. Bye for now. Bye.